Hey Rose, it's Monday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. If today was your day, you'd probably be making a video about Cinco de Mayo because you love making holiday themed videos. However, today I'm going to be talking about two things that I absolutely love to talk about. The first is education, which is quite apparently pretty important to us. And the other is the future, which I just love to talk about and think about anyway. This video seems to be coming at a perfect time, what with everyone studying for finals at all, but have you ever thought about how drastically different education has been treated throughout human history? In prehistory, before written language even existed, children had to learn by watching and imitating elders. Once we had written language, knowledge was more easily acceptable, and once we had cities and civilizations, schools became more commonplace. However, there is one thing that all of these still have in common. Ideally, at least, every child should be educated. However, it's not every adult's job to teach a child. Besides, with population growth, we always have more and more kids anyway. The way we fix this is with classes, where one teacher or a small group of teachers educates a larger group of kids. Uh, basically, school. Right? Here's the problem, there are so many ways to learn, and each child learns a little bit differently. When you have a class, the children who do the best will be the ones who are specifically drawn to the teaching styles of that particular teacher, while all the other children will do worse depending on how differently from that teacher's teaching style they desire to learn. But, I am starting to see a type of education that the world has never even seen before. And to describe it, I'm going to give you two examples that I personally use. Now, neither of these websites has paid me to talk about them or anything, but I just think that they are so cool that I want you to know about them also. First is KhanAcademy.org. Now, if you're like me, you've probably heard of Khan Academy before. It's been pretty popular in the news, however, I'd never given it a chance until recently, and now I'm hooked. The website covers many different fields, from math and science to humanities like history and art. Each field is filled with as much information as you would expect to learn from getting a formal degree from a university. You can even learn everything that you would need to take and pass the MCAT and get into medical school. And it is all completely free! Another website that I absolutely love is Duolingo.com. You've probably heard of Rosetta Stone before, the program you use to help in learning a new language. I've used Rosetta Stone in the past and I think it's a great way to help you in acquiring a new language. Well, Duolingo offers everything that Rosetta Stone offers, and in my opinion, even more. And instead of costing six or so hundred dollars, it costs only zero dollars. Because if there's anything that I love more than learning, it's probably free stuff. And chocolate. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm. Yeah, I gotta make a video. Both of these sites are amazing, especially if you're a nerd like me and like to think of your life as a video game. See, both these sites give you experience points for completing lessons. You can even unlock new lessons and level up, allowing you to track your progress even better and just have tons of fun while learning. With computers and the internet and advances in artificial intelligence, we can now make programs that can learn how each individual specifically learns and tailor a lesson plan to fit their needs, much like the two websites that I am already using now. If we implemented these techniques into normal schooling, it would be as if every single student would have, along with their normal teacher, their own private instructor. I look forward to the day where school and learning isn't seen as something to stand against in youth, but rather when children can actually enjoy the benefit of becoming educated. Happy Cinco de Mayo everyone, and Rose, we will see you on Wednesday.